the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Tonight's encounter is a fire encounter. Many of you will burn physically from beginning to the end of this service. That's the language of deliverance. Fire. It will happen to many of you as I teach. Literal physical fire. That's the language tonight. Burning every chaff is fire that makes ice to become water, is fire that makes water to become vapor. It takes fire for you to live where you are. Please be seated if you can. Mighty things are already happening. James chapter 2. You are amazing. You are amazing. You are amazing. Nobody heals like you. Nobody lifts like you. You are amazing. James chapter 2. Especially welcome all our guests who have come from different places. You will never go back the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. God did not bring you here to waste your time. By the grace of God, we're a very serious ministry. You will never come here and find your time wasted. If you want to joke and jump around and waste time, this is not the place. There is an urgency. The fire here will never let your destiny remain the same. James chapter 2. Let's read this from verse. Just one verse and I'll establish a few things that the Lord put in my spirit. And then we'll pray. Last week the Lord told me tonight to be a night of deliverance. Great deliverance. 26. James 2 verse 26. Very interesting scripture. I want to use it to establish a few things. I've shared it here before, but I just want us to pay attention. It says, for as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Apostle James was teaching the church something. Please listen. He was teaching the church how that faith would require corresponding action for it to work and produce results right and so he began to teach that faith is spiritual but it's the action the action is compared to a body and the faith is compared to a spirit and while he began to teach us that mystery he veered off in an attempt to use a simile to help us understand he opened up a revelation to us and he said just as the body without spirit right that the body without a spirit component is dead that means if you ever see anybody living it is because there is a spirit are we together now it is the presence of a spirit in a body that makes that body living the body this body is only a container are you getting what i'm saying now, don't be deceived because you have worn this body in a long time. That's why you don't say you are an eye. You say you have eyes. Your spirit has an eye that it uses to see. Is that not true? You don't see with your eyes. You see through your eyes. And 
so the bible is saying the spirit without a body is dead right let me use this boy come 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 yes let me use you let's clap for him it's my name's sake it's our school of ministry baby now watch this as handsome and visionary as this boy is extract the spirit out of him and in one minute this body will fall down lifeless and you will you will run away from it the same body i'm hugging right now nobody goes to the mortuary to hug a body you once kissed that body that was on a mortuary is that true the only reason why you were attracted to it was because there was a spirit when you saw a beautiful lady as a gentleman you liked her you thought you just liked the body let her die and let's see where the love goes to all of a sudden are you understanding what i'm saying now that means anything you see in the physical whether a human body or any real matter it is useless until there is a spirit component to it are you getting what i'm saying the life giving factor to any material thing is the spirit dimension are you getting what i'm saying now watch this if this boy sleeps in the night and all of a sudden he gets up and his hand can no longer walk this disability is a body there is a spirit that made it happen are you getting what i'm saying now biology may give us an intelligent explanation medicine but is saying this hand refused to walk because a spirit made it so the same way a spirit can give a body life a spirit can kill a body the body executes the will of the spirit that is at work or influencing it i told you that the body is only an instrument of execution don't forget this if your spirit wants to move from here to here it makes your body to move it so it looks like you are moving but it is your spirit man that is moving that's the reason why when you extract the spirit this body can no longer move it can't talk it can't breathe still has a heart still has lungs still has, has liver but it cannot pump look at a chicken you see a chicken running around pick it up cut the neck in five minutes the same body is lying there you didn't remove anything you just extracted the spirit component in that chicken and all of a sudden it becomes lifeless are we together now watch this for every physical manifestation there is a spiritual initiation for every physical manifestation good or bad there is a spiritual the body cannot initiate anything the body cannot initiate success the body cannot initiate failure the body only becomes an instrument of execution listen if you learn this you will be delivered tonight that this body is only a slave to the most dominant spirit that influences it this is the first revelation the apostle is giving us that a body you see what you see physically right now to you you think this is a ministry but in the realm of the spirit there is a spiritual component that makes this happen are you hearing what i'm saying when you see someone healed or blessed or changed is is beyond what your eyes is seeing there is a spirit component that initiates that when a man gets up and tries to build a house and all he has is cement and that man is ready for frustration until he can bring the spirit component that will make that material project to work are you getting what i'm saying now anybody without a spirit will die a business without a spirit must die are you getting what i'm saying now a job without a spirit must die witches and wizards know this only believers do not know it there is no man no unbeliever no witch no no traditionalist will go and do anything physical 
without due consultation to the realm of the spirit because they understand that the physical is only an execution this is what david knew so when he saw goliath roaring i said forget about this guy this is a body without a spirit are you getting the point goliath was roaring and other people were crying and he said uh -uh, this is those who know will not be scared at all that roar and he said goliath i'm going to defeat you and goliath said am i a dog at least respect me you come to me with sling and david was trying to tell him mr man do you not know that the size of my body or my instrument is inconsequential for as long as there is a spirit backing and he says who is this uncircumcised circumcision is your key to attracting partnership from the realm of the spirit we are dealt with that right and i told you that your circumcision in the new testament is your tithe when joshua circumcised the nation of israel at once an angel appeared to him and he came to give him strategy he said i am i have come as a captain in other words he was also fighting he was a warrior but he was doing it spiritually how many pastors are trying to do ministry without the spirit component speaking english without the spirit component how many people want breakthrough want revivals no the body without the spirit is dead the second thing i want you to know is that the bible shows us that more than one spirit can influence a body that means a body can be a slave to the influences of more than one spirit for instance your human spirit and the holy spirit although they become one at new birth but it's only an example that this body that is a slave a mechanism for execution of the will of the spirit can be under multiple influences please listen to me we see that again and again in the bible we see peter being influenced by the spirit of god and being influenced by a demon spirit one moment the body is speaking thou art christ the son of the living god another moment jesus is rebuking from peter get thee behind me and he says satan, uh, peter satan has desired to sift you is that not true the bible tells us that when judas ate with jesus satan entered him so it was not just judas that got up and went out listen listen there is no man, no man who does anything under the sun by pure bodily initiation. It's not true. It doesn't exist. The body cannot initiate anything. It only executes. Every initiation of anything comes from the realm of the spirit. Whether your human spirit, the Holy Spirit, a demon spirit, That means the key to bondage and the key to liberty is not locked up in the physical. It's locked up in the spirit. Since the body is an inevitable slave to whatever spirit, watch this. As I'm talking to you right now, you are seeing a body moving and talking. Is that not true? But you see, this body, Bob, don't mind this suit on it. It's just to, 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 to look decent. It's just for leadership and organization. That's why we put a cloth for this body. But the real person talking is the spirit man. This body is only executing it. Are you getting me now? And so if my body submits through my human spirit... To the holy spirit because the human spirit is the vehicle for submission so the holy spirit in partnership with my human spirit can find expression if god wants to touch ken he now flows through my body and i speak it god is touching ken and i authorize the holy spirit through my body are you getting what i'm saying now and then he touches ken now watch this it is easy to know 
what spirit is influencing a man by what kind of physical activities have been executed are you getting what i'm saying now you get my teaching when you have a father who gets up and carries bottle no the body is only responding to a spirit the man thinks he's angry but there is a spirit that made him carry that bottle when he wipes your head with that bottle and breaks it and then he turns back and regrets he only executed the will of his spirit are you getting what i'm saying now when somebody sees a biro that is not his own or money that is not your own and you hide and you steal it no you did not steal you were made to steal a spirit influenced your body are you getting what i'm saying now when a lady gets up and cannot see a man and sit down in one place only following men all around don't just say this lady is a bad girl you are a stupid girl no her body is helplessly under the influence of a spirit flogging her is a waste of time because as soon as while you are flogging her the spirit jumps out have you seen armed robbers when they are about to shoot them you see all of them stand like this as if they were not the ones that stole the spirits are hanging around in that firing squad waiting for the next victim they will land on and part of the onlookers who are looking with great pity the spirit lands on one of them and he goes home only to begin to execute something he does not understand are you getting the point now yes it is a spirit that will influence you into saying yes to a man who you know is a married man with his wife and he says i love you i love you you didn't even know when you said yes to you you thought you were just in love no you are a slave to a spirit that is leading you to perdition are you getting me human beings are not free until we ascertain that the only influence over their life is the holy spirit that becomes the key to walking in righteousness that becomes the key to walking based on the word of god because the holy spirit comes as a witness to the word how many parents how many families are under yokes of bondage and will only execute so you enter an exam hall the same spirit that can make you of quick intelligence now another spirit makes you blank out you know you read you know you did all you did i went to minister somewhere and um i heard a very touch touching testimony of a gentleman very intelligent and they called him you know for an interview a job interview and when he went there the panelists were happy they looked at his cv and they said yes can you tell us your name talk to us about yourself and why you think we should give you this job that gentleman stood there and he could not remember his name this is somebody who went to school no it's not that he could not remember his name the body a spirit shot the flow are you getting what i'm saying now you are yahweh you are seated on the throne me marama Himarama Himarama You are seated on the throne So when you see somebody well behaved No, he's not well behaved His spirit has submitted to the Holy Spirit And the body is finding expression Listen you can never call an unbeliever well behaved you are joking no the spirit to trouble him is just on retreat let it come and you will watch that body helplessly under the influence are you getting what i'm saying now watch this the same way a spirit can make a body fail that's how the spirit can make any other physical thing fail a spirit can come upon a building project and make it fail are you together 
The a spirit can come upon a man's CV and that CV becomes the body that that spirit is wearing and that CV starts executing what the spirit looks like and anywhere you take that CV to it cannot give you a job it's not because the CV is not good there is an influence that is producing that failure a spirit can come upon the marital destiny of a lady she may be born again tongue talking but the spirit can also influence dimensions of our lives so that you will see a lady who loves God very beautiful lady loves God but the moment a man looks at her and loves her that spirit creates an impression a bad impression listen there are spirits upon ministries many of them may never listen and humble themselves to learn and grow there are spirits that come upon ministries whoever hears about that ministry will misunderstand it have you seen ministries like that consistently be misunderstood is a spirit bishop oyedeko shared with us how that this thing i mean this was a great man of god the church in kaduna was not growing people will come the next thing they will run away they were carrying all kinds of stories and then they were fasting with the brethren and the lord told him come out and he came out and he looked and he saw a dark cloud over the church a real church a true church the church of the lord jesus christ with people who are born again and filled with the holy spirit are we following now and he said this is the dark cloud that is stopping people from coming to your church it's making people to misunderstand what you are doing and he commanded that dark cloud and it rolled away and bam leaving faith open till tomorrow we are here tonight to challenge every force are you hearing what i'm saying there are four things that jesus did in his ministry and any man who does not do these four things is not doing ministry like jesus number one jesus preached the gospel to preach means to declare to preach means to proclaim to preach means to announce are we together number two jesus taught don't say i'm not a teacher any man who can understand can teach because teaching is the litmus test to show that you have understood a thing anything you have understood you can teach it if you cannot teach it you have not gotten it so jesus taught number three jesus healed the sick don't forget this don't say i'm not called into the healing ministry jesus healed the sick number four jesus delivered the oppressed he casted out devils please let's be very careful so that in a bid to demonstrate spiritual maturity we do not come to a point where we get up and start um i now i know that i've been criticized already again and again so i want you to listen to me there are all kinds of teachings flying in the body of christ if you know me very well you know that i hate imbalance but it is very important that the scope, the entire scope of the message Jesus gave the church be preached. Jesus casted out devils. And in Mark chapter 16 verse 15, he said this. He said, this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. I'm not talking of deliverance that people do all kinds of madness and all of that. But for you to ignore the fact that wrong spirits that influence people's lives need to be challenged it's an error are you getting me now it's what the bible calls old wives fables teachings that come and look as a consolation in the church but keep them down and keep them poor these spirits influence our lives and produce the outcomes that we see in our lives when you see an ordinary man anointed no it's not just the body that is anointed the body is only a channel are you getting me for the anointing to find expression the anointing is within the anointing is spiritual
you came tonight with prayer requests you came tonight with challenges i want you to know there is a spirit behind that challenge every challenge in any man's life is a sign that there are demon spirits standing that's not a sign that you don't have faith it's a sign that you are in the world the bible says the whole world lies in wickedness hallelujah do you believe what i'm teaching you true freedom then does not just become jumping around and shouting i am free when we can obviously see that there is a, a spirit influencing you how many angry pastors do you know they love god they jump around but you do something they can wind their hand and slap you because you see you can claim you are a man of god you can claim you are whatever but it does not stop those spirits from influencing you listen the influence of spirits over a man's life is a contention it takes light and revelation and the anointing for you to stand in a position where the holy spirit is the only spirit that is authorized to find expression in your human spirit and ultimately through your body but there are many people under the influence of many spirits and they will not agree their bodies are helplessly executing masturbation yet they love god their bodies are helplessly executing pornography their bodies are helplessly executing all kinds of things then we try to create messages to say it doesn't matter yo it matters don't let anyone fool you it does it does matter then you lie down in the night to sleep and here comes a gentleman or a gentle lady sleeps with you some of you stand up with bedwetting you stand up with every experience and you just pretend that nothing happened i i pretend i didn't see anything why are you deceiving ah nothing happened i'm okay and you get up and everybody who would have helped you in the day no longer is able to help you and you come back and say no 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 i, I think there's something i'm not claiming look calm down and let the power of god set you free or tell lies and join the crowd of liars with all kinds of struggles in the secret place who will not open up their hearts for true liberty the bible says now the lord is that spirit he said and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty i was preaching i was in ministry yet demons were oppressing me shamelessly my own was so bad i would see them physically lie down to sleep and here they come marching gallantly to my room and oppress me they could oppress me so much i can hear people talking in the physical right a lady gets up and has an issue of blood one month two months three months losing blood losing your life no forget about the physical losing of the blood there is a spirit that losing of the blood is is a type of the manifestation of a spirit somewhere you get up a very healthy lady and all of a sudden you find out that there's lump in your breast and you just laugh and say it happens um when you eat in in restaurants too much when you eat fried food lump will come out look at look at the explanation that you are convinced and, and the spirits are saying i like this generation i like the way science is hiding us from them. a man goes to bed healthy and wakes up in the morning and one leg cannot lift again i think the protocol department were there when one small boy did something during counseling i think the last time we had counseling one woman that we prayed for during one of the miracle services so they came for counseling when they came for counseling i looked at the boy the mother was so slim and they were saying that the boy was in occult and all of that and i looked at the boy and i said are you in occult the boy said yes i said who tied your mother he said me i said why now he said they asked him to do it i said go on loser who was there you were there Lawrence. i mean this guy so wonders that will not end the boy just went sat down on the ground carried mama's legs and started doing it like this then later he'll say remain small he's about to finish when the boy finished he got up now you would have 
you would have seen that and said this small boy but this boy is only a slave to a spirit when a child of five years old will not let the mother rest that coconut head is not the physical head there is a there is a spirit that makes that head strong and stubborn are we together now slapping the child in anger is only wasting your time there is a spirit that can influence your life and bad luck follows you you become a magnet you never magnetize anything good if guys to jam people you are the one it will jam if police is to gather some people as suspects it's just when they are catching people you just come in they say follow them you say no 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 i attend koinonia they say go and explain in the police station now you may laugh about it you may laugh about it every bad thing happens to you everyone laughs in the class but the lecturer will ask you to stand up and say why did you laugh as if you are the only person and you were at the back listen that lecturer himself may be a victim to a spirit is joining your heads together and so by coming to his office you now say you I, I don't you smile what is your name now you are entered another level of, of trouble humans victims to spirits that's what is happening in the earth I feel very sad when I see people. They get up and they get up in the morning and they do not know. Listen, they do not know that your body is only an instrument of execution. There is a spirit that is driving you. When you see favor coming to a man, no, there is a spirit that makes it happen. There is an operation. There is an anointing. Are you getting me now? You can just be sitting down and then God will speak to you. Carry 10,000 naira and give a marker. Why didn't God say somebody should give to you? There is something. It's not just that, okay, God has spit. No, 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 no. If you understand this, you will know how easy it is to walk in victory. You don't focus on this physical body. You focus on what spirit and what atmosphere influences it because that's what determines the possibilities there are people who almost never pay for anything when you are going to buy something that's where somebody comes and says do you know i was thinking about you this morning and you tell the person i'm not surprised because the activity of the holy spirit manifesting as different things favor the blessing whatever it is orchestrate events together for you are you getting what I'm saying now? As a pastor, the day the anointing is strong upon your life, that's the day everybody who can help you will not come for the program. You stand and preach your life out and everybody say, Kai, we have seen what, what God is doing through you and uh, as a family, we really appreciate. Uh, by God's grace, next convention will not forget you, I assure you. And you stand up and go. But someone else, the day he's coming, somebody is about to travel and mysteriously his car may spoil and he'll say let me attend this program and he comes and says god has been asking me to sow into a man this preacher is that man you think it just happens the only thing that grows in a farm without being planted is called what everything of worth is planted are you getting what i'm saying favor does not just come a ministry does not just grow anointing doesn't just come revelation doesn't just come honor doesn't just come a man doesn't just become sick a man doesn't just become healed was it not in your bible listen that the trouble around daniel's life was the spirit of the medis and the persians is that not true it was happening physically through human beings but it was a spirit because he was under the influence of the, the, the Medes and the Persians. He was a spirit that made men to serve idols. And now a man came called Daniel. And he was praying. And his prayer was judging those spirits. And so they could not influence the king. And he made the king like Daniel. 
Are you getting me now? And the king's liking Daniel made him to subscribe to the God of Daniel. And those spirits said, no, we have to find a way of bringing enmity between the king and Daniel. So one day you get up and somebody comes. You, you thought a neighbor just entered your house and jammed your head. You and your destiny helper and left. It's not just that a neighbor came. A spirit visited your compound using human vessels. Jammed the head of two people and left all of you together. Are you getting what I'm saying now? A husband and a wife. Lovely people. Romeo and Juliet. The marriage is going well. All of a sudden a spirit lands in that house. And then something happens. A woman who has been minding her business. All of a sudden she looks at a text. And doesn't see it properly. And she thinks that she saw I love you to another woman. She carries it and lands the phone on the man's head. Only to find out that it was maybe to their daughter or a spiritual daughter or something and now enmity starts and a lot of people sit down and say you see uh, just love yourself just manage like that wait and see the part two of that movie the holy spirit i mean the, the demon spirit will come again into the house something will happen that demon spirit will start making that man to fail in his job are you getting the point now he will return back home with the anger of his job that spirit the same spirit will start making the woman angry and be impatient so her impatience is jamming with his failure in the office what does it produce divorce that's the name at the end of it the apostle and the prophet that should rise from that family no longer has parents and the boy who would have loved church who would have been faithful in church is now forced to follow bad gangs you just thought it was a physical acting the body without a spirit is dead every time you see things around your life not working the way god orchestrated don't sit down and discuss get into the place of prayer immediately there is war happening in the heavenlies. There is a clash of spirits. They are claiming your body. Listen. Do you know that when Moses died, watch this. When Michael came to carry the body of Moses, he found Satan too. Satan wanted to use the body of Moses, enter it and resurrect as Moses. Are you getting the point now? Resurrect as Moses and start bringing error to people. And he needed the body desperately. And Michael said, no, no, no. I'm not going to drag with you. The Lord rebuked you. How many people saw your mother in a dream? A spirit carried the face of your innocent mother. Landed it in the dream of her enemy. And she got up and said, I knew it. I knew it. Joshua Selman's mother is a witch. This one, I saw it. The woman came with a knife. How many of our mothers and fathers have been called witches and wizards? And, and this is what many prophets see. And because they do not have discernment. Are you getting the point now? They now say, I saw who some, this and that and that and that. Is it not in your Bible when a, a, a diviner invokes the supposed spirit of Samuel to prophesy? I refuse any other spirit from influencing my life. I, I, I don't have time for that. I cannot be a victim for the, the failure that is orchestrated. Look at Job. One more scripture to prove this to you. Job, a man who loved God and eschewed evil. But the Bible says a meeting happened between spirits in the heavens. Job was not there. Oh. A man just gets up in the morning and they have concluded a meeting about you. Your children are on the way. Thunder strikes them. You just finished furnishing your house. Thunder strikes it. Your cattle die mysteriously. Notice, all the deaths that happened, there was one, one people left to come and testify. Is that a testimony? Job! I'm the only one who is alive. This is what happened. And then the meeting was held again. And he said, let's touch his body. Ah! So a meeting can happen. Watch this. 
let's destroy this family and they conclude it you snore your way through the morning wake up and that's the last time you know peace in a long time you are a victim your body is only a victim tonight this is the this is the theme of this miracle service let me tell you when these spirits clear out of the way you will be shocked to see the doors that will open for you all of a sudden you who nobody would call you you will receive a call the last time you spoke with that person was five years he did just call you the holy ghost made it happen because there was a spirit that was stopping that call every time they want to think about you a distraction happens and you remain in that suffering and when you come to us men of god we say it's okay don't worry things will change one day go better that, that, that. No, no 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 that's why i told you you must insist tonight you must insist you are mighty on your throne two things there are three things that give demon spirits access to people and families i want you to pay attention to what i'm saying three things number one covenants 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 you reign you ancient zion's king kadosh kadosh you are mighty on your throne oh sing oh fountains of the deep kadosh kadosh you are mighty on your throne america as a nation Listen, a man can wear the inner wares of a woman, watch this, and be moving on the street. And that man returns back and blessings keep following him. A very stupid man, but good things are happening in his life. Let me tell you why. It's because of the covenant of the fathers. There were people who signed an agreement and said, Lord, we give this nation to you. Anyone who comes under the umbrella of this nation is authorized to walk in that blessing. And so, a woman, a man can go for plastic surgery to become a woman and yet come out alive. In Nigeria, you try to even just operate somebody's ear and he would die. Was it the knife that killed him? Are the doctors so daft? Let me tell you what our forefathers left with us. Ready? This is what they left. They went to mountains, valleys, regions. Listen. And all kinds of ancestry. We can fake it and pretend. Listen. I'm a new creation person. I've read the Pauline epistles. Are you getting what I'm saying? I understand the grace of God and the new creation realities very well. But I know God and I understand his ways. Are you following me now? Please come, two people, very quickly. So that any two, no, no, sit down, Pastor Fami. I promise you can come. Come, stand here, stand here. Watch this. In my example, this guy is a thief. This guy is a wrong occupant. Watch this. If this is my handkerchief and Ken comes to quickly steal it, the moment he hears the, my footsteps, what will he do? He will run away. Because he's a what? Thief. But if somebody comes and meets promise and say, promise, give me 10 naira. I will give you this handkerchief. And promise gives him 10 naira. And he gave him the handkerchief. Is there a contract there? Is there a covenant there? If he sees me coming, will he refuse? Because you see, the realm of the spirit is a legal realm. Are you getting what I'm saying now? So, our forefathers went to idols and they said, protect our wives. Make the plants bring crops for us. In response, we will hold festivals every time. In response, we will donate children to you. In response, they, it was not their fault. They did it because Christianity had not come to Nigeria. Now watch this. When Samuel Ajayi Crowder and many other Christians came, they brought the gospel of
of salvation not the mysteries of the kingdom are you getting me they brought the gospel and we salute them but that was not enough the understanding of the mysteries of the kingdom that would bring liberty was not taught so even they themselves died i traveled to we were in gombe one time gombe state and we we're going to yerima's village to go and greet his family and on our way there there was a rock like a cap and they were telling us a story there that the people used to live there that that rock used to open physically there was an invocation that would be made on it and it would open and people would enter inside the rock and hide during times of war and this is what they said the last person to enter you are the one that is donated to that rock the last person to come out you are also donated to the rock are we together now and that rock has been faithful has been what the same way our forefathers had bumper harvest even where there was no rain mysteriously the crops grew these spirits kept their part of the contract all of a sudden some missionaries just found themselves into the village and they said we brought good news and they died in three days the spirit killed them immediately and said you are joking good news of what and then a few people received it and then when they received it they convinced themselves that because they are born again the territory was now changed i watched a documentary brothers and sisters in fiji island fiji island is an island small island but they love god now something happened there were missionaries who came to that place and they so beat the missionaries and oppressed them before the missionaries died they cursed the land they cursed the land and the people and they died and the people thought it did not matter one by one the fish in the river disappeared mysteriously when hunger hit the people from the government down they said something is wrong and god began to reveal to the church around here that look there are there are apostolic activities that must happen in this land if the territory must be cleansed this is what they did they began to pray and then supernaturally they found the grandchildren of the missionaries listen to me they brought the grandchildren of the missionaries to the city they loved them and the children blessed the land and say we release you from the cause of our fathers it's, it's a documentary in less than one week they saw fish crops started growing fiji island changed at once there are so many families that are seated part of the terms of the contract is that if you don't bow down to that idol you will never build a house you will never marry contract sealed now you came that you are born again and you are moving around 35 37 no marriage the other one too is coming when you meet pastors they say no problem are you not born again just believe marriage is going the ones that get married no children mysteriously you are seeing the same patterns happen because covenants are powerful that was the very same principle jesus used to redeem man covenants covenants are you getting what i'm saying now covenants are powerful until they are broken the spirits the custodian of those covenants are authorized to still begin to execute the terms on the of the covenants even on the victims please believe what i'm saying i've prayed for too many people i've ministered to too many people i'm not telling you stories i'm telling you what i was free from number two ignorance ignorance authorizes demon spirits to buffet people psalm 82 verse 5 bless you guys thank you they know not neither will they understand they crop in darkness confusion ignorance and as a result the earth is out of course but have i not said verse 6 ye are god and all of you are children of the most high he said but you shall die like men men and fall like one of these princes the bible says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge ignorance ignorance of the mysteries of the kingdom ignorance of the principles of the kingdom
ignorance of the keys to true liberty in the spirit number three disobedience personal disobedience Deuteronomy when you read I think chapter 28 or so it shall come to pass it says thou shalt diligently hearken to these things to do and observe all that I command you this day that you shall be exalted above all nations and the blessing shall come upon you and overtake you is tied to your obedience the Bible says having the readiness to judge every disobedience when your obedience is perfected when it is complete disobedience authorizes the devil to buffet our lives don't let anybody lie to you that when you disobey God nothing happens no it's not about God doing it it's about the laws in the spirit they will not change they didn't start with the Old Testament those laws predate our dispensation are we together now so tonight I want you to look at your life very carefully especially for those of us who have come have you not seen traces of the influence of darkness in one area or the other that does not mean you are not born again that does not mean you are not serious with God but it's time tonight on behalf of you and your family members to rise up and say no way I come by the blood I come to challenge these things there are many of us who have never received a testimony of any good thing that anybody has done in your life somebody buys a recharge card to give you it disappears physically that's that's the extent to which this thing is working against you have you seen people like that a guy tells a lady i love you car will jam him two hours later just for trying to verbalize that i'm considering marrying you car jams him his friend now comes and says Tor, since my friend has come me too i love you something happens let me tell you the meaning of that it puts a stigma on you and your family are you getting me now and they say these people there is death have you not seen lands that people bought land to build house why do you think we dedicate properties why do you think we pour oil on land i know a man who bought a property and went there to stroll in the night and received a slap in the in the in the land true true story because the spirit there does not care whether you paid for it gave him a slap when listen when i was in secondary school we were in a temporal site before they moved us to the, pam the permanent site. That temporal site used to be a hospital. Are you getting the point? Where the place that was like the mortuary was part of the place that was converted to our kitchen. I tell you, many students had encounters with strange beings. You are entering to ease yourself and you will just hear sounds. Sounds that can give you a headache for a long time. I remember our school getting ultimate power. So that we we'll watch as their own strategy to deliver us from this this nonsense many students were initiated into occultism because of that but tonight we come in the name of the lord the captain of the army that this situation in your life must end I sat back there fighting tears when all the people were sharing their testimonies. A testimony is simply what happens when the Holy Spirit becomes the only influence in a man's life. Any other spirit must create problems. Tonight, daddy, mommy, sisters and brothers, there is need to deal with certain things in our lives. I saw poverty in my family as if we offended God coming from a pastor's family didn't change my family background your name can be Solomon you will remain poor until what needs to be addressed that's why I told you tonight will be a night of massive deliverance listen 
as we begin to pray many of you who are sick will all of a sudden turn and find out that the sickness has gone really when you understand this you will know what a miracle is a miracle is what happens when the spirit that is causing that ailment departs this is what jesus did to the woman who was bound he looked at her in the spirit and he saw that a spirit had tied her for 18 years and he said woman thou art loose loose he didn't say thou art healed he said thou art loose the moment the spirit left he laid hands on her and straightened the physical body and there she went remember that madman at gathering that was an evangelist in a cave tearing himself into pieces the moment the spirit heard that Jesus was coming, they were waiting for him at the other side. Hallelujah. Mighty on your throne. Mighty on your throne. I'll never forget one time I was praying. Praying seriously, I was in the spirit. And I had a vision. I saw that there is a tree that is close to where I stay. And I didn't see that tree again. I just saw a great beast like, like, a, like a being. The tail was a snake. The eyes were big like human head. Imagine this head now like an eye. Two of them. One here, one here. And the spirit was looking at me with fierce anger. And all he told me is, so you think you can bring God's people into prosperity. And then it left. That was it. Mighty on your throne. Mighty on your throne. That's the reason why every time Satan wants to destroy you, the devil will now cause you to disrespect that person. So your mother may be an anointed woman and you will fight and tear and say over my dead body for you to pray with me. And Satan will say, Amen. Let's go. And then the oppression starts because your pride and your arrogance will not allow you to go to the person and say, help me. Tonight we are going to cry to the King of Kings. I don't know if you came for this miracle service, especially for those who are family people here. You should never go back the same. You see the results of people, 4.8, 5 points. They have always had that ability, even when they were getting one point. It's a spirit that makes that happen. Don't let anyone fool you. You are not so daft. Human beings were created intelligent. When you enter an exam hall and you write nonsense and come out with zero and smile and say it's just because I didn't read well. Is that really true? How many of you watch film twice to explain it? You sit down and watch a three-hour film once and you can come out and recite that film completely with the hair of the actor's wife. And that was, you didn't read for it, yet you spent six months or five months reading for one course and then at the end of it, you come and fail it and get nonsense and you keep convincing yourself, it's just that I didn't get it. It is the reason why you can read a novel of 1,000 pages, but a lifetime you can't read half of the Bible because there is a spirit stopping you. If this was a novel, some of us would say, take this, I will bring it for you next week Friday and you will exhaust it. But from the day you were born, the day you were born till today, you have not read up to one third of the Bible. One time you cried and prayed and fasted and started and three days later. Remember when you carried your devotional and did balance brought forward. You started reading from two weeks back as a sign of repentance. After you read it, you now threw it away. Because you cannot help yourself in the flesh. It takes the anointing of the spirit. That's why he sends carpenters. That's why he puts miracle services like this. So that you can come under the influence of God's power. How about genotype issues, SS? You get up and find out you are SS or AS. Do you know the Bible never mentions the issue of SS or AS? Are you aware of that? That thing was a technology that was fabricated by Satan to stop people from getting married. You see a beautiful lady who has a prophet in her womb to come and then one spirit just brings one one demonic report called ss and they say sorry we can't join you because you are going to kill your children for that devil is a liar in this place tonight
I'm challenging you because when we rise, we are going to pray. The miracles will start as we pray. You've got to be angry with yourself and say, no, enough is enough. Enough is enough. We are come to Mount Zion where there is an innumerable company of angels. Where there is the blood of sprinkling. The blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than any covenant. That speaketh better things than any ordinance. The good news is that Jesus has paid the price. Our job is to enforce that victory. Are you getting my point? We enforce that victory by engaging the mysteries of the kingdom that bring for liberty. We are going to pray that that power that has tied our destinies down, it must let us go. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. Yeah. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. Sing it two more times with faith in your heart. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Rescue the earth lives in me, lives in me. Jump up on your feet and we sing it one more time. Say, and conquer the rain lives in me, lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth. One more time with faith in your spirit. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. Listen. Deliverance, therefore, is a separation. Is the spiritual process that experientially brings the separation between you and the forces and influences the spirits that attempt to influence your life the legal separation brothers and sisters when that happens to you then you will see gates open by themselves when that happens to you you will see realms of favor all these things people pray on you must challenge those spirits you must challenge those spirits on behalf of yourself and your family and God is ready for us tonight I tell you God is ready for us tonight lift your voice in one minute and bless him for this word the body without a spirit is dead the body without a spirit is dead now I realize that there is a spiritual component to the challenges in my life lift your voice and thank him for this revelation lord i now realize that there is a spirit component to the failure in my family there is a spirit component to the retrogression in my life there is a spirit component to my lack of admission there is a spirit component to my lack of marriage there is a spirit component to the poverty in my family are you praying tonight let the dissatisfaction rise from you 
Abrata de bacate prate que leva do coso prate bela de bos. Oh, come on, tonight is your night of liberty. Same power that conquered the grave lives in me. Lives in me. Your love that rescued the earth lives in me. Lives in me. Just the voices. Sing it from your heart. Same power. That conquer the grave lives in me, lives in me. The power that can challenge any altar, the power that can challenge any force of witchcraft, any generational cause. One more time, sing it. That conquer the grave lives in me, lives in me. Lives in me, lives in me. Same power, same power that conquered the grave. Lives in me, lives in me. Your love, your love, same. up your voice right now and mention everything you know that is a tragic event in your life and challenge it say it must stop tonight lift your voice oh come on koinonia you should be praying challenge the spirit challenge the spirit behind failures Challenge the spirit behind marital delays. Challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit of death from your family. Challenge the spirit of death. Challenge the spirit. Challenge the spirit. He must let you go tonight. He must let you go tonight. Those outside, I hope you are praying. This is your destiny tonight. The spirit, the body without a spirit is dead. Hallelujah. 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 Look up, please. Your failure without the spirit that sponsors it is dead. Barrenness without the spirit that sponsors it is dead. Are you getting what I'm saying? The key to liberty is to evict the spirit that initiates that thing. For a body without a spirit is dead. Any cause without a spirit backing it is dead. It's null and voice. Any pronouncement, any enchantment without a spirit is dead. Therefore, I want you to lift your voice. And I want you to declare forget about the problems lift your voice and speak as a believer that you are to every spirit address it behold i give you power over snakes scorpions pray 
Pretese parato bari barata bakosa. Reke paka pata. Reke teke baraga na baka bara bara. Reke teke 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 teke. Shibara, shibara, shibara. Reke teke baraga na baka bara bara. Reke teke teke teke. Oh yes, he must leave you tonight. Ba se teliata. Reke bara baka bara bara bara. Brata bara bara gode gede gede bara. Ripananda bako se gede gede bara bara. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. There are spirits that will never allow you walk in the anointing. They will never let your eyes open to see visions. And even when it opens, they will they will bring you into error so that everything you see misleads you into trouble. I'd like you to lift your voice again. Just do what I'm asking you to do. From the realm of the heavens, challenge powers, challenge forces over your finances. Prete <laughs> It must change, it must change, it must change tonight. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. My goodness. It's a strong anointing in this place. Oh, it must let you go tonight. Who says that breakthrough will not come? Who says that marriage will not come? Who says that cancer cannot die? Who says that HIV cannot leave? Maka kapata. Sheleketari adababa. Lift your hands to the heavens. Horatagatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatatat
I command spirits. Kaporotose. Bring them out. Fire! 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is showing me a vision. We are going to shout it again. Please don't do it here. I see many people vomiting poison. Physical poison. As you shout, physically, it will come out. Lift your voice. Bata, bata. Shaka, ta, ta, ta. Mare, tende, tepa. Father, anything that has been planted in the body of anyone right now, as you shout Jesus, we have victory. One, two, three. Shaketetetetete. Shaketetetetete. Shaketetetete. E protos. Mokotos. Lekotos. Prototokete. E riakata. He must let you go. He must let you go. You are coming out of their lives. You are coming out of their lives. You are coming out of their lives. My goodness, fire is burning in this place. Fire is burning in this place. Fire is burning in this place. The devil must let you go. The devil must let you go. The devil must let you go. The Lord is giving me a word right now. There are ladies here. There is a spirit that comes to you in the night to oppress you, to sleep with you right now. Lord, where are they? Let that fire, let that fire bring deliverance right now. Right now, right now, right now. Every spirit husband, every manifestation, every spirit wife, every devil that has leads to you, it leaves you now, now, right now. It must leave you now. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. You see physical snakes. Where is that lady? Physically, physically. It appears to you. Physically. The lady is right here. Please come out. I don't know who that lady is. Physical snake. It appears to you. You see it. Let me tell you something. After this miracle service, you will see advancement in your life in a way that will surprise you. That's when you will know that Satan is not as powerful as he looks. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and pray. Any covenant that ties me to anything of the fathers have been called out of every tribe every tongue i am a, i'm a new creation no longer connected to ancestry lift your voice and pray every altar that connects me to my fathers every witchcraft that attempts to connect me no i'm in christ I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. Hallelujah. 
Alléluia. Alléluia. Whenever we talk about faith, it is simply the vehicle that gives the word of God expression. And I'll just charge us a little. It's important for us to know that the word of God can be trusted. The scripture that we read, this Bible, look up please. This Bible that we read, the Bible says it was inspired of the Holy Ghost. Are we together? Holy men wrote it as they were moved by the Spirit. So regardless of the imperfection of the translators, regardless of the imperfection of the writers, the sovereignty of God still vetoes their imperfection and makes this word capable of producing results. When believed and acted upon, are we together? Your faith. Every time in scripture, Jesus would challenge the faith of the recipients. Jesus never told anyone, you have asked a hard thing. It was Elijah who told his son in the gospel, you have asked a hard thing. It is possible. But Jesus would only ask them, believe us down. Thy faith has given this to you. Let me give you a very interesting definition of faith that I got from Bishop Oedipo. Uh, this, this is one of his most recent definitions and it is absolutely powerful. This is what he said. Faith is sharing responsibilities with God in the light of his word so as to get your desired result. Faith is sharing responsibilities with God as defined or in the light of his word so as to get your desired result shared responsibility shared responsibility there is a path to your miracle listen please that depends on god that is exclusively left to his wisdom and power and sovereignty but there is a path to the delivery and the manifestation of your miracle that depends on an operation you must do. So many believers want to receive from God. Listen please. We come to God but we approach God as though approaching an idol. Hoping that he will perform some magic. No. There are spiritual dynamics to reception. Your faith, your faith, your faith, your faith. We have a series on that and we're going to start that series next week. I'm going to be sharing with you some deep dynamics about faith because it's important for us to get results. Results are predictable. Say it after me. One more time. Results are predictable. There is, there, is a, there is a technology, there is a system of predictability to results. That's why we are gathered here tonight. We are not gathered to some kind of haphazard trial and error. I know you will be blessed. I know you will be healed. It's not pride, it's the truth. There is a formula for this. I know your life will change. I know that demon will live your life forever. I know you will walk out of here with breakthrough that will bring tears to your eyes. But there is a system. There is a system. Please, brothers and sisters, imagine. Imagine for one minute that you go to the hospital. Listen. You go to the hospital with your pregnant wife about to give birth. And the doctor tells you that, look, this name doctor is just there. Oh, let me just confess. I'm not exactly sure. Let's trust God and see what will happen. And your wife is crying and saying, I'm losing my life. How would you love such a doctor? And you ask him, who gave you that title that you put in front of your name? Because the title is an implication. Hmm. Are we together? The title is an implication. The title means you were satisfied. The title means you went through rigorous seasons that trained your mind to be intelligent on that wise. Now that's when, when God names a meeting, it's an implication. If he calls it a miracle service, it means he sat down and searched within himself 
if he had the power to back up that name god never speaks until he looks at himself and finds out whether it is within his ability to back up what he has said if he called it a miracle service then that is a miracle service indeed it has never been about the inability of god to step into people's lives please listen there is no case represented here today that is above and beyond the power of god to step in no you'd be lying are we together you know sometimes the mountains that stand before us and trust me i'm human there are mountains that can stand before people but you see that mountain remains only as big as your inability to trust god makes it look there are mountains it says time will fail me to talk of gideon and jephthah and barak men who through faith subdued kingdoms not cities kingdoms so the foundation the foundation please listen the foundation for biblical faith is an encounter with the word of god you must find out what he has said about the issue of concern that is step one to commit him more on that during the faith series but it is important you have no right to lay any claims on anything you have not searched out because god limits himself to the provisions that his word can afford hear me whatever the word of god can afford god can provide it did you hear me whatever the word of god can afford god can pay for it hmm. whatever the word of god can afford it is within the sovereign power of god to pay for it your first assignment is to find out i've been barren for eight years they said i have no fallopian tube thank you doctors but they are practicing and you come to the word of god and check and then the bible says your marriage shall be a blessing it says your children not even a child surround your table now the next thing is whose report will you believe are we together the trouble is we do not meditate on the word to a point of restful persuasion restful persuasion but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded you don't read the bible like a novel no the entrance of your word eventually as you pay attention to the word let me tell you i know what i'm saying believe me when you study scripture with all your heart an activity of the holy ghost begins to happen from those letters through your eyes into your spirit from those letters through your eyes through your ears into your spirit it says so then faith comes by hearing and understanding by the word of god it's not just hearing it's not just seeing when you discover the promises the prophecies the provision your next assignment is to meditate upon the word to get to a point of restful persuasion persuasion that says if i perish i perish but i found it i found my bailout i found it oh they say i must uh, this and that and that and that i cannot have a child i've tried i've been having miscarriages oh men of god have prayed for me they are not herbalists get to the word get to the word father this is your word i commit you prophet isaiah in chapter 38 moved by the holy ghost went to hezekiah and said put your house in order you will not recover from this sickness isaiah was a major prophet when a major man of god with a track record speaks to you it's almost like a done deal but a man used the word of god to change prophecy ah, the words you speak turn things help me that 
the word of God can veto any prophecy, any enchantment, any pronouncement. Yes, they said it, but I change it. Yes, they said everybody in my family is SS, but I found a provision. There is a bailout mystery. I can't die AS. I can't die SS. It is within my power to change it. Let me tell you, there is nobody that prophesies a nonsense destiny to me. I have worked with God enough to know that the keys are in the hands of a man. Hezekiah turned his face and said, Oh God, remember my sacrifices. Is it not your word that, 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 that says how that they that give, you know, paraphrasing, that he will remember you in the day of trouble and remember your sacrifice. I have given to your house. Why should I die like a chicken? No assumption. You must bring your strong reasons. No assumption. You assume you will die like a chicken. You must bring your, your strong reason. Don't say even God knows. As I hear you say. As I hear you say. Many believers want things to happen. Let me tell you something. Faith is hard work. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You've got to find it and sit down until the word of God superimposes your doubt. I know there is a rent of 500,000 to pay. The rent is not in the spirit. The landlord is alive. I know. I know statistics says that there are no jobs in Nigeria. I know there is recession in Nigeria. But when you find it in the word, now listen, when you find it in the word and meditate, let me tell you what meditation does. Here's how you know you are finished meditating. You are finished meditating the moment you discover your role. When you discover the part you have to play, you are finished your meditation. You meditate until you find it. Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Not will you give me. What is my part? Good master, what is my part? Lord, what is my part to be healed? Oh God, will you heal me? That's wrong prayer. That's immature spiritual communication. What is my role? It is within your power. Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus didn't say, no, 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 no. Eternal life is cheap. No. As cheap as salvation is, there is still a role you have to play. Are we together? It says the word is nigh thee in thy heart and in thy mouth. Even the word of faith which we preach, right? That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. Romans chapter 10 from verse 8 to 10. He says, and believe with thy heart that God raised him from the dead. He said, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart, he says, man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto soteria, salvation. Not just new birth, unto health, unto everything. Hallelujah. Your meditation has not finished. If you cannot leave that place knowing you're part of the deal. There must be your commitment. Oh Lord, what is the secret to end circles of failure? It's like as soon as I'm recovering from one, I'm finding another. And then you search in God's word. Who suffered like me? What is the key? Lord, nothing is working in my life. No job, no marriage, no money, no peace. What should I do? Oh, there are enemies in my life. How do I deal with them? I've prayed. And then the Holy Ghost takes you to Psalms 149. Let the high praise of God be in their lips and a double-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance upon their nobles and to bind their kings with the fetters of iron. To execute upon them the judgment that is written. It says this honor has all the saints. Ah, so my praise is a weapon of warfare. This is my own part. You shut your door. And you begin to praise God like a madman. And when you praise God like a madman, all of a sudden, you put pressure on his integrity the moment you act. Let me tell you. God 
is not committed to delivering any promise in your life if you have not acted upon it having the readiness to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete praise the lord so what is your part tonight number one your part is to believe god your part is to believe god don't allow science medicine the intellect to bring you to a point where you now start calculating and say okay now let's be real i know that i have a fibroid i touched it and i felt it is it really going to disappear and you now begin to think the question you have to think is how did it come were you born with it did you swallow it and it went there so how did it come you never question how it grew to be that big but now you are questioning how it will be shrink how it will shrink and disappear we have been trained in an environment that stimulates unbelief you mean i can complete that house by the end of the year haba this is october we've not even gotten to lintel level the last person who would have blessed me just said guy nigeria is hot hot for who don't don't generalize this thing let's be sincere enough persuasion i believe god oh. i believe god that's why we're ministering listen when you find what god has said commit him throw away your ego throw away your fears and commit god the bible says listen listen to what he says he says in my name they shall cast out devils that's what we are going to do shortly he said it we believe it and so we have the effrontery to gather you and to release a platform for the world to listen and we give them an assurance based on what based on his integrity that's why we have a worship team what's the assignment to create the atmosphere for his presence to make manifest because when his presence is here then we know that we have committed him brothers and sisters i want you to come to a point of restful assurance throw away that doubt you know some of you hear what i'm saying and most people when they hear preachers talking like this they look at their dressing they look at everything and say it's not your fault it's because you are enjoying as if the person was born like that apostle is because you don't know the fire that drove me from home to come here believe me i don't care what it is if god cannot solve your problem then we have found a reason for him to not be god but i believe god previous miracle services it did not happen another word for faith is persistence another word for faith is persistence you will never never stop persisting and claim you have faith no sir elijah prayed and asked his servant go and check he said there's nothing he would have said ah god i called down fire once what is this one is it that i'm backsliding he didn't even have time to ask that question restful assurance he went back to pray seven times and he saw the cloud like the feast of a man and he told ahab he said saddle your ass and run i hear the sound of the abundance of rain there are people here tonight trusting god for miracles in your body there are people here who do not even know what is wrong with their situation you are welcome who else will you run to let me just say something when i was when i was meditating and preparing this little exhortation the lord said the following things to me and i just want us to write it down just three of them quickly number one your action commits my integrity your action not your conviction your action your action at the point of action that's when my integrity is committed so you can believe and not see results faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction faith is not the conviction the conviction leads to faith 
faith is the action are we together yeah so i look at pastor femi for instance come femi i look at pastor femi for instance and let's assume he's trusting god to heal him maybe of chest pain look at this now he comes out and hands are laid on him and he just looks and he's angry at the next person because he's saying you did allow them lay hands very well it's not the it's not how much hands are laid on you You see somehow we have this understanding you can say i have chest pain and just a touch and then they go and, and you are wondering ah, ah. you would have stayed and touched and gone around and done this now your mind thinks because time is being spent on you it means god is saying something no no the miracle listen the miracle is in your faith it happens at the speed of faith it happens at the speed of faith this guy can have all kinds of tumors and just a touch in fact sometimes it may not even be a touch just your faith like there are people now already who are healed they don't know it's just because you can't go to the hospital he says and as they spake as peter spake these words unto them the holy ghost fell on all day that had him thank you thank you very much are we together it's your faith don't come here and be careless and just sit down no assuming there's somebody you brought here for instance who was who is deaf maybe on one ear or both ears and now it's time to pray and as we are praying and you are just standing you are watching the person oh in the name of Jesus if there is any dead person here be healed and you look at him and you are wondering ah, this guy let me concentrate on myself that guy will never be healed he's going to go out like that because number one you are embarrassed to take an action step because you don't want to put your hands in his ears and inform him and say they are about to pray I will check you your ego is telling you guy don't do this if you put your hands on his ears and you pray and you check him if it doesn't happen you will turn with your shame and hold him there that's exactly why the person will walk back and not be healed are we together they mention is a case and it looks like an embarrassing case you've been healed go and check yourself and you're wondering you are sitting down there and wasting your time and then you run later after service and you come and say, Jimmy, sorry, oh, don't be embarrassed. Do you know that when you were mentioning somebody with pile, it's me, oh, I, I, you saw me, Abby? Just quickly pray for me. You are joking because you see, the result is waiting for action immediately. Please get this thing. The Lord told me this that I should tell us. Your action commits my integrity. As they went, he said, go and show yourself to the priest. As they went, as they went as they went the woman said to herself with the issue of blood if i may but touch the hem of his garment do you know if she just stopped there talking with herself she would have gone back home with her issue of blood but then after speaking she still pressed at the point she did it there was a miracle number two this is the second thing God told me and I don't want to believe this applies to koinonia let me be wrong at least but I don't want to believe this applies to koinonia but I believe this applies to other people this is what God told me stop mixing God and any other God like traditional gods native doctors that's why I say I don't believe this applies to koinonia but I think that this is the unbecoming of the church in Africa. On Sunday, you are with God. Are we together? On Monday or Tuesday, you now quickly run to your village. And they tell you there's somebody. The guy is not exactly a herbalist. He's not exactly a pastor. He just has this gift. You cannot mix. Let me tell you something God has said. Give us Psalm 16. Psalm 16 verse 4. Give us verse 4. Psalm 16 verse 4. I want you to read the A part. One to read. Their sorrows shall be multiplied. That do what? That hasten after another God. That's what I was looking for. What will happen to them? Their sorrow. It will look, let me tell you. Please hear me. I've never gone to a herbalist. 
but have ministered to plenty of people who have gone to them. You will never get a sustainable result from a herbalist. But it's my father that said we should go as a family. Well, I know that there is a limit to which you can control that. But I'm telling you, you can insist and refuse. The Bible says there are sorrows. I know what I'm saying. In Africa, many people will say, oh, these people, they are just young people. They don't know what they are saying. The Bible says their sorrows shall be multiplied. That do what? That hasten after another God. So you have something he tells you to put in your pocket before you sleep. I don't care whether they ask you to read Psalm 1 or read Psalm 100. For as long as there is a genie and a charm in your pocket and you put all kinds of things and you have to get up, do something demonic, the man is telling you, go and buy a goat. Are we together? You buy a goat, they slaughter it, they turn the blood and they say it's done. Just be praying. Just because he said just be praying does not mean it was of God. Amen. I have discovered, let me tell you something. I have discovered that most people run to God as a last resort. You go to a doctor. If a doctor does not work, then maybe you go to a few men of God here and there. After they all jump and gyrate and nothing happens, somebody will just tell you, sorry, I wanted to advise you, but... You know, I don't want you to think I'm a bad person. But if you are serious, I can take you somewhere. You see yourself going to Zaria City. I said, don't be afraid though. That's how the man's face is. That, run away. Run. That's how it is. You go there. The, before any discussion, you are dropping consultancy fee. You know, I've told you here, Koinonia, hear me. Money and miracles don't go hand in hand. Bring money. Let me pray for you. You can sow a seed expecting a miracle. You can be challenged to commit yourself. But where somebody says the price for this pregnancy is 25,000 and I'm just doing it for you and your wife. If you ever get pregnant, it was the mercy of God. Remember when the gentleman saw the apostle with the power to lay hands on the sick and he offered money. What did he tell him? He said, your money perish with you for you think you will buy the gift of God. It's not for sale. It's priceless. So stop mixing God and witch doctors. You cannot mix God and witch doctor. Are we together? If you depend on God, depend on him. If you depend on a herbalist, depend on him. But don't mix them. You know, one time I was counseling a very dear, a dear lady who, now this is by no means being sarcastic on any family. But I was counseling a lady who told me that she went somewhere and they gave her razor to eat. Razor. And to her shock, it didn't injure her razor like sharp razor you bring out gillette razor and now open your mouth throw it in she was scared to death but i tell you she broke that thing finished it and swallowed it no sign of blood they are mediums right they are mediums i can guarantee you that lady's life will never be the same from that day now the challenge with these kind of people is they just come and say ah now i will never be involved in those kind of things again lord my hands are washed they think that's all to it they think they are free so somebody says i want to get married to you two weeks he says i don't know what is wrong but the day i said i'll get married to you somebody warned me and say if i catch you near my wife again so the person gets up and says i don't want trouble and before you know it the lady is 40, 41, no marriage. She loves God. She's serious. Are we together now? But she believes that everything is all. No, it's not just like that. Though. That's why God puts meetings like this to set people free. I don't know what your challenge is tonight. But I want you to know that the God of all flesh is in this place. 
tonight will be a night the lord spoke to me and i said it to us that it will be a night of massive freedom and deliverance there are there are people honestly who are going to stay on this thing and force some spirits to get out of the lives of people i learned early in life that spirits are behind the sufferings of people never confuse physical conditions with the influences of spirit they may manifest as different things but i give you a guarantee there are spirits behind them you are not just being hated for nothing you are only one out of seven billion people what makes people hate you everywhere you go they hate you there is a spirit it says for as a body without a spirit is dead there must be a spiritual cause for that physical problem and tonight in the name of jesus christ whatever will not let you go must leave you there are people carrying all kinds of plagues of bad luck and disfavor hear me as i'm speaking to you do you know it's not everybody you see suffering that is lazy or bad or unserious there are well-meaning people but these powers just sit on your destiny and say we will not go because it does not take discussion it takes the power of god to put them where they belong are we together there are some of us who have never experienced the favor of god you have had it in the lives of people you have clapped for other people but you've not seen it in your life if your uncle or your father or your mother is not there to help you you think you are finished because in your mind every time you are praying and say god visit me what you mean is please oh god help edge me to be the one to visit me but when that favor is on your life and those demons clear off the way you'll be surprised hear people saying three jobs three jobs waiting for someone at this time now the question i want to ask you before we pray is you came with a challenge but do you believe do you believe that God can give you a testimony? That's my first question. No, 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 no. Don't answer me. Do you believe? Please, don't, 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 don't just assume you know what I'm saying. I'm speaking from my heart. You're seated outside. You're seated in the overflow. You are following online. Maybe in another nation or in another place. Do you believe that God can step in? That's number one. Number two, do you believe that God can step in now? It's one thing to believe God will step in. But do you believe God can step in now? Or are you saying, oh God, my eyes cannot see well. But even if it's one that starts seeing, I'm grateful. You see, it looks like it's faith, but it's not faith. It's just an advanced form of unbelief. Lord, I hold on to you. I don't know what you will do with me tonight, but I believe you. And every instruction that comes, I believe. Are we together? When prayers, when we're about to pray, and we tell you every spirit that is disturbing anybody, you don't just stand and, and you are waiting for somebody to be shouting and falling, or you are waiting for yourself to fall. No. Your heart is open. You are praying. Time to release your prayer request. You don't just tell the ushers, let me drop my own, and you drop it as if it's... No. You are dropping it and waving it goodbye. And saying I dropped it because you will never return to me. Listen, there is an attitude. The miracle is in the attitude. Not just in the act, the attitude. Lord, as I drop this request, I wave you goodbye. I cannot drop it and write it again next year. Next, next, next month. Are we together? You are coming here trusting God for an impartation and an anointing. You don't sit down carelessly. You are listening carefully. As the word of God is coming, your spirit is open. And that you believe that by the time the grace is shared, I'm walking out of here a different person. Are we together? You came here sick. Oh God, this sickness. I've been praying about it, but today, let me tell you, do you know you can decide the day of your miracle? The woman with the issue of blood said today, Jacob held on to the angel, right? And said, I won't let you go. He would have let him go and say, okay, the next time you come, just inform me. You can make it today. 
when I was praying for this meeting I said God I have one request please let everyone that comes here believing return with a testimony that was my prayer for you I've done my own part and the grace the grace to produce the miracle you need by the grace of God is available the mercy of God is here to help you your part is to believe God enough and respond in faith are we together every part of the meeting God is going to do a quick work right now but I want you to believe please be tired of where you are oh God from January till now I've not moved forward I have to be sincere with myself give me an encounter that by now between now and October miracle service let me return with tears of joy in my eyes there are two kinds of tears a man can cry tears of sorrow and tears of joy it says you have turned my morning into dancing everything I'm telling you to do is what I'm doing myself don't think I just came here empty-handed I came here with my heart full of expectation I mentioned my own request before God and cried my heart to him so I, I'm only a vessel but I'm also a benefactor because by and large I will still listen to this message and I will receive every prophetic word the trouble with us is you may think I'm a worker oh I'm, I'm protocol I'm media I am a minister I am this and not receive you see how the leaders in this house whenever they are here they forget about anything and everybody's heart is open that's that's the attitude are we together don't sit down arguing and say madam how are you how do you feel that's not your business focus on what God is doing and insist the devil in these kinds of meetings hear me Satan waits strategically for those whose hearts will not listen to the word they are the kinds who will go back and their situations will be worse than it is because you see when these demons and these spirits leave, they have to search for a life for continuity. And you can't stand neutral. There are others who come here. There are probably people sitting inside and outside. You were invited, but your heart is already here, cynical. Will God really bless them? All these men of God serve and all this, their nonsense talk. You see, that kind of attitude will not give you a miracle. Don't come to God passively. You must come to him intentionally. Are we together? How many of us are ready to walk out of here with a real miracle? How many of us believe there is a place in the word of God for your case? You believe your case is not new. There is a place for the word of God. How many of you believe that it is within the power of God to wipe your tears and give you a testimony? And how many of you are ready to place a demand by faith? Please jump up on your feet and begin to pray. Rise up on your feet and begin to pray. Lord, I place a demand. Lord, I place a demand. Lord, I place a demand. Whether you are inside, outside, I place a demand. Online, I place a demand. On your integrity, I place a demand. On your favor, I place a demand. On your wisdom, I place a demand. Are you praying? Sheke pakata barata kata di bata. Shem proto sobari kata. Lord, I've been doing ministry with no anointing. I've been struggling in ministry, but I place a demand that I will encounter something, an unction, a grace that will change my life. Lord, my business has refused to grow. Everything I've tried to do is not working. But tonight, I place a demand. Lord, I'm tired of this genotype issue. I'm tired of this genotype issue. Lord, I'm tired of this barrenness issue. I'm tired of high blood pressure. I'm tired of pile. I'm tired of eye problems. of using crutches I'm tired of poverty living from hand to mouth I 
I'm tired of failure, tired of defeat. Change my story, change my story, change my story. Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. I want you to take two minutes. You are going to cry for your family. And say Lord as I stand here I represent an altar. It's not just me alone. The angel of your presence must enter my house tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Pray, pray, pray. Oh God of heaven. Step into my family. Step into my family. End that curse. End that bondage. The plague of death in my family. Bring it to an end. The plague of hardship. Nobody has a job in my family. End it all, oh God. Nobody is gainfully employed. Nobody is born again aside from me. Step in, oh God. Step in, oh God. Nobody is making progress. People are just getting old. Nothing is moving. Change my story. The words you speak. point listen listen the last prayer point he said give us this day this day not tomorrow lord give me this day breakthrough give me this day promotion mention everything you want and say lord today my faith is for today if your faith says yes god will not say no if your faith says yes God will not say no. Lift your voice and cry. Give me this day healing for my body. Give me this day a new anointing. Give me this day an encounter with the spirit of wisdom. Give me this day direction for the next level of my life. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is giving me one more prayer point. Don't be tired of praying. Prayer helps you release your faith. Listen. Hold on, please. Listen. Amen. Listen. I want you to pray with all your heart. I told you there are spirits behind every situation. Hear me. I want you to pray in one minute. That any spirit behind your seat. Leave the situation alone. Don't worry. Don't mention. Leave the headache. Leave what? That the spirit behind it. I like you to pray and declare that as God's prophetic word comes from here, that spirit is under arrest, is on fire, and it must leave. Hey. Lift your voice and pray. Leave the case. Challenge the spirit behind it. Leave the case. Leave the case. Challenge the spirit. 
the spirit behind failure, the spirit behind delay. I came against Hallelujah. The devil is in trouble tonight. Rise up, everybody. Rise up, everybody. I tell you, I'm angry in my spirit. Rise up, everybody. We have to pray. Somebody has got to walk out with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place. Bring them out. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. It must be over today. 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 It must be over. There is enough grace, brothers and sisters, to step into your situation. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands, everyone. There is authority in this place, not just power. There is a difference between power and authority. There is authority in this place. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Sabarato kapari kete bashala bakaria da badada. The Lord is asking me to pray in tongues for two minutes. Hear me. And while I pray in tongues, me, while I pray in tongues, I want you to bring all those under the anointing. That's what the Lord is asking me to do. Father, let your word go forth. I put the word of God on my prayer. Inside, outside. The word of God is upon this prayer. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. I tell you, fire is burning in this place. You must be free. You must be free. You must be free. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. Right now, in the name of Jesus, every spirit every covenant every altar standing on your way to the next level in the name of Jesus right now I command them to leave you 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 now Every spirit holding your destiny, every spirit holding your destiny, 
every spirit holding your destiny leave them now in the name of Jesus lift your hand at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus I'm seeing a sword in the spirit and on that sword I see something like a chain and on the chain is written stagnation in the name of Jesus lift your hands you may not even know this affects you at the count of three as you shout Jesus many of you will be surprised what will happen to you inside outside online let that spirit that has changed your destiny in one place as you shout Jesus I command it to leave are you ready now one two three I command stagnation go now go now go now go now, go now. stagnation by the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost stagnation leaves your destiny stagnation leaves your life stagnation hallelujah I'm speaking to someone right now whose life has refused to move forward I don't know who you are but every time you want to make progress you have dreams and in those dreams you see things holding you sometimes you see chain the Lord is asking me to release you wherever you are right now I stretch my hands I set you free I set you free I set you free I set you free hallelujah we are still praying they must let you go parato soto barikete ladies lift your hands sisters lift your hands I want to pray for you from my heart something is about to leave you now sisters lift your hands every covenant that anyone is under here please hear me knowingly or knowingly that has tied any lady's destiny right now in the name of Jesus at the count of three may that fire come upon you and burn that covenant to ashes any ungodly alliance any covenant that has tied your destiny are you ready now ladies one two three shout Jesus be free be free be free be free be free, be free. inside and outside I break it I break it I break it I break it by the power of the Holy Ghost lift your hands hallelujah I saw something fly above and the Lord said it's the spirit of death the plague of death there are families here every year someone must die every every year somebody must die there are families here every season somebody must be sick I want to end cycles death does not just mean cessation from living cycles of repetition lift your hands everybody this one will affect a lot of people please open your heart hear me many of you may not have observed that there are cycles of repetition that happen in families cycles of repetition lift your hands the ministry of angels 
at the count of three with all your heart i want you to shout jesus and watch what happens to you some of you as you shout jesus you will have an open vision literally and you will see things that have happened in your family and god will bring you a word of deliverance are you ready now at the count of three father back up your word one two three spirit of death i arrest you i arrest you i arrest you i arrest you circles of death circles of death i arrest you hallelujah lift your voice and begin to pray cancel everything challenge every spirit 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 go 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 challenge every spirit hallelujah 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 we are going to be fast but i'm going to walk around there is a reason why i walk around listen you don't have to touch me but let me tell you as surely as the god of heaven is in this place when i come close to you if there is any spirit that is holding your destiny it must leave you believe me believe me there is an anointing you don't have to make the place rowdy i'm going to walk through this road i will come back here and i will go outside let's see how much you can do that very fast please let your heart be open you don't have to touch me i'm telling you that any spirit any spirit i stretch my hands here any spirit any spirit any spirit any spirit any spirit any spirit
those of you outside sorry about the sound i'm about to walk here listen you don't have to touch me i assure you by the god of heaven by the anointing of the holy ghost right now right now be free i'm passing your role the anointing is upon you the glory is upon you the glory is upon you the glory is upon you be free now be free now as I pass you, God is touching you. God is touching you. God is touching you. Hallelujah. Now there's someone here. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. There is someone in this vicinity. You had a dream three days ago and you saw me praying for you. Three days ago, exactly three days ago. Who is that person? came here the spirit of the lord told me to pray for the person please who is that person let's pray and then the sec don't don't come here please if you are not the person the second person i want to pray for there is someone here you've been having severe abdominal pain right here right here you are a lady this pain has been too much right here please who is that person i want to pray for you right now you're the okay stand here i want to pray for you right now you came for a miracle service lift your hands I use them as a point of contact to pray for everybody here. Anyone here with any strange pain. Ah, look at. I look at this lady and I see a spirit. Go! In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that pain to leave right now. Go. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone. I don't know what it is about this row. But there is someone. Your family has gone through repeated cycles of losses this is financial losses for a while i don't need to bring you god is going to bring you out right now lord whoever that person is right now that's the person i'm talking about a miracle comes for you a miracle comes for you i'm seeing a lady here looks like a small girl you see spirits in the night this is like witches this is what i'm seeing the lord is bringing deliverance for that person right now right now 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord is bringing a miracle for that person right now. Right now. Right now. Who is by the name John? There's someone outside here ministering to those outside by the name John. 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 Who is John, please? Are you John? Your name is John. Ah, there's another John. You are wearing Nigerian shirt. John, you are wearing Nigerian shirt. Is there someone like that? Do I know you? Stand here. I need to pray for you because I'm seeing something on your head like madness. Can we have this? Okay, thank you. Those outside, listen. In the realm of the spirit, whether you are inside or outside, believe me when I tell you this, it makes no difference. The only thing may have to lose. You can see I'm talking outside, but I'm still touching people inside. That's the same I can be inside touching you. Don't don't think because you are standing far. You have a disadvantage of sound, but that's the only disadvantage. It's not a disadvantage to your spirit. Are we together? Look at me. Where are you coming from? From Quara State. Quara State. For this meeting? No, I'm a student in ABU. Oh, you are a student in ABU. I'm, I have to pray for you. I'm seeing somebody reading and all of a sudden he starts talking like a madman just from academics and this thing i'm seeing is witchcraft i hear what i'm saying I, don't be afraid i'm not a prophet of doom i'm going to pray for you i don't know who is trying to protect anything while you are studying here but in the name of the god of heaven please hear me because while you are studying somebody else is hoping you don't pass but i lay my hands on this gentleman I use him as a point of contact to anyone here. Whoever has planned anything against you, it returns back to them. In the name of Jesus Christ. All of you in this overflow, this very one, please lift your hand. Sorry again about the sound, but I want you, don't mind, just lift your hands. The Lord is telling me in seven days, please hear me. There are five people here in this room in seven days god is going to give their families dramatic breakthrough listen i will not touch you the power of god will locate them right now one that's one five of them in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ you don't have to bring them out seven days i stand under this prophetic and apostolic voice and i declare miracles 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 bring this little girl for me bring this little girl for me come sweetheart let her not fall here hug me come the lord is saying i don't know what family this girl comes from but the lord is saying he's giving that family favor right now favor for this girl's family favor for this girl's family favor for this girl's family i'm seeing a final year student here you've written your exams you thought you've graduated but i'm looking now and i'm seeing two courses and the lord is saying we should change it i don't know who that person is here at this point. i stand in the name of jesus the son of the living god and i prophesy as the lord has spoken to me we change it now we change it now help them we change it now i want you to believe everything god is doing here believe everything god is doing i'm looking at a family of seven people no marriage and god is saying arrest that spirit i'm seeing another family of four ladies no marriage i don't care who wait you don't have to come father i pray i'm standing here it doesn't matter where i stand i'm speaking to everybody right now in the next one minute all those whose family has been tied down maritally fire is coming upon those spirits right now right now right now in the name of jesus be free be free be free completely free be completely free be completely free the lord is showing me something i'm looking at this woman and i am seeing your children I know she may not, I, I, I don't know if she understands him or not, but I'm looking at her and the Lord is saying I should wait with her 
when it's time to go in, I should carry her and meet her two children inside. That's what God is telling me. That I should carry her. Someone ask her. Ah. Evelyn. 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 And who? Okay, they are inside. Evelyn and Mercy. Hold on. Because I looked at this woman and the Lord is saying he wants to visit the woman. And then the Lord told me that two of her children are inside. That when I'm going in, I should hold her and take her inside and minister to that family. I use this woman as a point of contact. You keep hearing me pray and repeating myself. It's because there are spirits that don't want to let people go. They must go tonight. Gentlemen, look at me. Look at me. Tap guy. It's your season of breakthrough. I know that you hear a word like this and think I'm joking until you hear the testimony. It's your season of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mommy, let me talk to you. Please come. The Lord is saying I should tell you. You hear Hausa, Ma? You can speak English. No, no. I need to tell you what I'm saying in Hausa. Yes. That he's going to wipe you in such a way that you will forget the pain of the past. I don't know who you came with, but I'm prophesying to you. Mama, go and write it. This thing will happen. You will come back with a testimony. See, when a prophetic word comes on you, I want you to know that the end has come. There, there are thousands of people here. If God locates you, don't, don't sit down. You are doubting. Is it really God? No, 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 no. Mama, for your children, where are they? Come. Did you tell me because uh -uh. mama let me talk to you i'm prophesying i need to pray for this person because i am seeing god doing a miracle for him this gentleman huh where is he abuja. he's in abuja yes. what's he doing he's working for somebody and they are not even paying. mama let me talk to you that's why i'm talking to you you see this person go and tell him by november a job is coming for him I will not stand in the open. You are in Zaria here. So it's not like somebody, they ship somebody to come and stage manage. I'm saying it in the open. Go and tell him. My brother, I want to pray for you. There's delay in life. Come and stand here. Someone will look at you and think everything is all right. But if I don't pray for you, a time will come, you will be really frustrated. There's a photographer here that things are not working for. Where are you? God wants to change your story. I don't know if you're a photographer or something. Please, you see, I told us let's cooperate. I want us to finish very fast. There is a photographer here. I'm not guessing. You are here. Things are grounded. Who are you? Make sure you are not lying. Not country. You photographer business. Huh? Somewhere at Northgate. At Northgate. And nothing is happening. Do you love God? I have to pray for you. Because I'm looking at somebody who stood. You had a quarrel with somebody over snapshot and the lady cost you. This is what I'm seeing. That lady you see, uh, well, I'm not, I, I, it's not like I'm indicting people, but that lady you see, it's not everybody you see that is a normal human being. That lady cost you from that day. Things will dry up. You have, it's, it's not like you are careless, but if it takes a person to speak a word of a curse, it takes a higher anointing to help you. Hold my hands. Return back to your glory. I prophesy to you right now. In the name of Jesus. My brother, let me pray for you. Jesus is truly the answer. You see, let me tell you, brothers and sisters. You can be suffering for decades. But when God decides to step in, that's the end of it. He just helps you. Praise the Lord. When he steps in, I'm hearing Joss. Joss. You came from Joss. You came from Joss. You came from Joss. You came from Joss. The Lord wants to give that person a miracle. You came from Joss. Please, if that person is here, let me. Who? Ah, this is Mama again. We've prayed for Mama now. Oh, from Joss. I'm going to pray. Ah, ah, no, now. I will pray for her, but. No, I'm not saying your state of origin. You came from there. Not that you came from. I know, Sarah, I'll pray for you, but there's somebody else I'm seeing. Who is that? Sir, you're welcome. You came from Joe, sir. 
Are you a family? You two, you came. That is, you came from Joss. Where in Joss? I'm with the University of Joss. You're with the University of Joss. I have to pray for you. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a man who has been cheated. This is what I've seen in the realm of the spirit. Sir, you came all the way from Joss. University of Joss. You're a lecturer? You're a lecturer with University of Joss. Why am I seeing you not promoted? Well, I changed from I was lecturer to the university. The system is different from I'm, I'm, I'm going to pray for you because the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you that he's stepping into your life and he's giving you a miracle. Don't waste your time, sir. Ah, I'm seeing you writing like, I don't know if it's a, this is like a, uh, like a publication. This is what I'm seeing. This is a publication and a prof, a prof is going to help you and God is going to honor you with that publication. No, there are many publications to write, but you will return back. This will happen like a dream, the way God is going to wipe your tears. Praise the Lord. Yes, please. Yes, I'm sick. Kemia, don't worry, Daddy. I'm going to pray for you. We've not prayed for the sick yet. Are, are, we, are we together? I'm going to pray. When it's time to pray for the sick, I'll lay hands on you. Yes, sir. I'm seeing there's a corruption in your blood, and God has to cleanse you completely. Yes, so that you will not die. Don't be afraid of death and be thinking I will die and leave my family. Ah, uh ah. -uh. God is life. He's the same God who was there for you. Hallelujah. Sir, just this prophetic word for you that God is going to lift you. I'll come back to you when I'm praying for the sick. We're going to pray for the sick now. My dear, hold my hands. I'm seeing you climb a ladder, Sarah, and the Lord is saying it's time for you to stay on that ladder. You climb up and it brings you down. You climb up and it brings you down. You climb up and it brings you down. And the Lord is saying, let her climb and not come down. Therefore, I lay my hands on you and I prophesy that it's a new season. In the name of Jesus. There are two ladies inside the main auditorium. The power of God is coming upon them right now. The power of God is coming upon them right now. They are inside. The Holy Ghost is, a, is, a, is like a volcano. It's like an anointing. Two of them inside. The Spirit of the Lord is coming upon them heavily. This is breakthrough that God is bringing. Sir, you wanted to talk to me. Don't worry. You don't have to tell me what the issue is. You understand? If we say that, you see, we will not be able to attend to other people. And it will not be fair. Do we all agree? So, I must not mention your case. Just believe me. Please have the faith that God is going to touch you. I came out like this to encourage us. So that you don't feel I am there. It doesn't matter where you stand. Just for coming to this ground alone, the power of God is there to touch you. Augusta, come, let me for you. This in you come. Kai, I have to pray for you. I'm seeing the spirit of death. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Who brought this guy? Can I, Gina? Can you hear? Me? I have to pray for you. This is the spirit of death on you. And the Lord is saying, I should set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. I lay my hands upon you and I command that spirit of death to leave you and go forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Father, I lay my hands on this gentleman. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus. Hold my hands, darling. I, I, is it your sister? Why are you here? You came from Joss too. Where in Joss? To the water. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Where is the mama that was here? Uh -uh, there was another woman who was standing here. Please bring her. Be careful with this, our elderly ones, please. Come. Let's walk yeah. Lift your voice and begin to say, Lord, I believe you. Lord, I believe you. 
Lord, I believe you. Who is this? Who brought him? What's the situation? The father is inside. We are going to pray for the sick now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm seeing charm against a family. And the Lord is saying, let it end now. I don't know where that family is. That charm, that charm. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Mama, where are your children? Where are the children of this woman? The Lord gave me a word for them. You should have been ready now. Are they here? Please, so that we move to the next thing. I want us to finish here on time. I want us to finish here on time. Are they here? Where is her sister? Under the anointing. Hold on. Please, I'll just minister to her. We don't have time. Mommy, hold my hands. I look at you, Mama, and I'm saying, just leave the children to play. That's all right. If they shout, those ones are children. Let them play. They are receiving something as they are all playing, I'm telling you. Praise the Lord. Lift your hands. You. Out of him, now! Mama, I lay my hands on you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. What do you want God to do for you? Sir, I want God to give me a child. To give you what? A child. A child? Yes, sir. My God. Your child? I am I'm baroness. Mm. Mm. Ah. My God. 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 Mama, how many years? Ah, uh, I cannot say, sir. Go ahead. How many years? There's a reason I'm asking you. Ah, uh, it's long. Can you remember? Since I was born, I have never given birth. Uh, Since you were born, yes, you are sir. married. Yes, sir. You've not given birth. How many years have you been married? Twenty-five years. I prophesy to someone here from the depth of my heart in the name of the God who sent me. I say it. I prophesy from this woman has touched the core of my spirit in the name that is above all names. I place a demand on my office, not my fate. My office, not my fate. My office, not my fate. And I pray in the name of Jesus. Anyone under any cause, whoever placed that cause must die. I say it again. Whoever placed any cause, whoever placed any cause, I command the ground to open and swallow that person. I say it again. Whoever plays any cause against anyone, shake it, 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 erect it, it, get her. Baroko to basete, a brota sata, barete get it, it, leke te get it, reko to shabariata. Whoever plays any cause on anyone, may the earth open and swallow that person. Mama, where is your husband? He's not here. 25 years. You will think, me I thought that 
what this was one of her children mama lay your hands on your stomach where is your husband don't say, sir. in the name of jesus Amen. i'm not asking you whether you have faith look at me look at my eyes if you believe i am sent from god in the name that is above all names carry your child carry your child carry your child carry your child go and return with a testimony mama hold my hands i take away sickness from your body in the name of jesus christ i pray for two of you hold your hands please lift it let's hurry up as i lay my hands on both of you the grace for supernatural favor i release it upon you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i want us to hurry up please bring out your prayer request pass them to the ushers while you are doing that all those who are trusting god for healing now is your time please come out quickly i want us to be very very fast don't injure the ones who are already here it's going to be very very fast now all those outside listen those in the second and third overflow bring that girl those in the second and the third overflow that means the overflow by the roadside they can come in but those in this first overflow please stand outside those in this first overflow you can go outside so that will save time so that will save time let me pray for these people promise come uh, benga come kenny come um michael come where's pastor femi come i'll lay hands on you people you go and lay hands on those outside please make sure that the people are healed we are not playing games this is not just formality please come out bring the lady out release her now in the name of jesus i command you spirit it's time for you to go right now in the name of jesus amen let me pray for these gentlemen when i pray for them they are going to go outside don't look at them look at the anointing that is upon them in the name of jesus that grace the anointing that grace that grace that anointing that grace that anointing that grace that anointing please you go just pray for the people outside and jimmy please come you join me we'll pray for those here now listen we are going to be very fast please if we don't ask you what is wrong with you you don't have to say it now let me do something please if you are elderly here make your way to the front please if you are elderly make your way to the front our mothers our fathers so that i can just lay my hands on them and then they can go back please i please, some of you that are coming are not elderly please go back if you are elderly elderly is very clear if you are elderly we know elderly means you have a grown-up child please please let's save ourselves any embarrassment hallelujah worship team you will lead us through a series of powerful worship now if there are your loved ones who have not sent their request please let them do it very fast because i want us to pray here now make sure you drop your request everyone under the sound of my voice father i pray for these ones as i pray for you i don't know what the situation is but i'm placing a demand by the god of heaven inside and outside that there will be miracles in the name of jesus christ amen and amen heal the sick oh god and let there be miracles in the name of jesus christ mama please hold my hands in the name of jesus you're the god of wonders amazing god you're the god of miracles amazing As I pray for you go back god. to your you're the god of wonders amazing Ow. god Be you're the now. god of I miracles your destiny. I amazing god say you're the god of wonders Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing God, you're the God of wonder. In the name of Jesus. Amazing In. God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing, you're the God, say, you're the God of wonder. Yes, as they pray for you, just go back and Amazing check yourself. We don't have the time for testimony. You're now. the God of miracles. Amazing, you are God, you're the God of wonder. Amazing God, you're the God of miracles.
miracle Amaze You are God You're the God of wonder Amazing God You're the God of miracle Amaze You are God Say You're the God of wonder Amazing Amazing God. Amazing God. You are the God. 
minister. You're the God of wonders, amazing God. You're the God of miracles, amazing God. You're the God of wonders, amazing God. You're the God of miracles, amazing God. You're the God of wonders. Rise up on your feet, please. Rise up on your feet, everyone. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. Please shout it, shout it. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that my request upon this altar must become my testimony. Say it again. I decree and declare, decree and declare that, my that my request upon this altar, upon this altar must become Shabarakatabarada. Jekete kurata katabarati. Let let her go free in the name of Jesus. Must become, must become my testimony. No matter how many. I believe, I believe that God is able, God is able to, turn to turn them into testimonies. Into testimonies. Now listen. I want you to stretch your hands here. Don't ask God. Don't pray. Stretch your hands. Mention your request. Mention his testimony equivalent. Are you getting the point now? There is barrenness here. I receive my baby. Please. You've heard the testimonies of people. Let me tell you, this is a covenant you see happen. It's not just that we do it. It's something that God said. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Please stretch your hand and begin to call the things that be not as though they were. And watch the God of wonders. Go ahead. I'm releasing my faith with you. Go ahead and pray. Rakata paroto supratika de ba. Those online, make sure that you follow us. We are praying on the request now. I don't care what your challenge is. I don't care from which part of the world you are streaming and following. I want you to know that the God of all flesh, we have a covenant of answered prayers in this place. And we are praying on your request. 
Father, give your people testimonies. Give them turnaround miracles. Release jobs, oh God. Release marriages, release children. Release ministries, release anointings and mantles and graces. Release revelation from the throne. Release prayer unction. All you can ask. Break habits, break things. That tie down the destinies of your people. The power that Stretch your hands. It's an act of faith. Lord, let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles for your people. We pray these things before you. We spread them before you. Look upon them, O God, with your grace and your mercy. Let them stand for our miracles. Supernatural miracles. These are faith in your power. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree done in the name of Jesus. Are not angels ministry spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation? We receive the ministration of these results and answers in the name of Jesus. It is done, Lord, exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or imagine. In the name of Jesus, we rejoice with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we decree. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Lift your hands, everyone. Hallelujah. Jesus, we believe in you. We believe in the word of prophecy. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. It said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. You've heard me say it again. This for me is the most powerful part of the service. I know it doesn't look like it, but this is where everybody gets to receive. So I want you, we're rounding up to shout a believing amen as I pray. Are you ready now? The kind of favor you have not seen, I pray for you. You receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. The kind of favor that will bring tears from your eyes. In the name of Jesus, may it be your portion. May it be your portion in October. Strange favor. Hallelujah. Help them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help them. I don't know what the devil has taken from you. The Bible says if a thief be caught, he will pay tenfold. I command. Between now and miracle service, October, receive supernatural restoration. Receive supernatural restoration. Supernatural restoration. Supernatural restoration. Everything that comes close to you, but your hand cannot touch it. You see it, you know it should be yours, but your hand cannot touch it. By faith, I connect it to your hand. I connect it to your hand by faith. Every man that says over his dead body, for you to succeed may god answer their prayers you have been moving around in one place you try to move forward but you cannot make progress in october i command your destiny i command your spirit Hear the word of the Lord. Go forward. 
Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. In the name of Jesus. Whoever has received an instruction to help you but has refused to obey, I put their spirits under pressure. I put their spirits under pressure. They must respond to the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, and Darius could not sleep. He woke up the next day and says, Oh, Daniel. Has your God delivered you? I say it again. I don't know who must show up for you. And has deliberately refused to frustrate you. Tonight, I put pressure upon their spirit. Everything that is alive grows. Therefore, whatever has refused to grow in your life, I command it to grow in October. Hallelujah. October has the number 10. And 10 means the end of one circle and the beginning of another circle. I don't know what it is that has refused to end. And I don't know what has refused to begin. I end what must end and I begin what must begin. I say it again. I end what must end and I begin what must begin. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. Help that lady please i i say it again i end what must end and i begin what must begin anyone under the sound of my voice call jobless in the name of jesus between now and the next miracle service i don't know how it will happen but return with a miracle job Return with a miracle job. My God gives you a job. Anybody due for promotion and has not been attended to, I don't care who needs to attend to you, he's a human being. In the name of Jesus, may the God of all flesh compel them to respond. There is a cause that makes people poor there are principles people break but there are spirits that help people become poor anything called poverty around your vicinity in the name that is above all names this is the month you will rise above it this is the month you will rise above it hear me all the seeds you have been sowing all the tithes you have been tithing, every foul prophet's offering that has refused to bring that harvest by prophecy the bible says a time will come when the reaper and the sower it says the reaper will overtake the sower i command that kind of miracle in your life now an answer to your giving speedily an answer to your giving speedily Two more prayers. The anointing it takes for the next level of your life. For every level there is a grace, there is an unction. I pray for you. The anointing that must land upon your head to grant you grace to rise. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Throughout this year, your family members have not testified. I force them to testify this month. I force them to testify this month. Whatever has made you cry. You have cried in the secret. You have cried in the open. 
and you have said lord why won't this thing work this month let it work this month by wisdom let it work by favor let it work by divine direction let it work God let it must work it must work by the anointing of the holy ghost it must work hallelujah these hands you are lifting whatever has stopped them from holding blessings i put an anointing upon them may they magnetize all kinds of blessings i put an anointing on your hand let it call blessings there is a kind of honor that god can put upon a man that can separate him from his equals in this month strange honor may it be yours strange honor may it be yours everything that has destroyed your prayer life you try to pray and you cannot pray this month you will pray more than all the months combined go take a parata this month you will pray more than every month this week appetite for the word of God an appetite for the study of scripture receive it in the name of Jesus I pray for every business here in the name of Jesus although it is said this recession may this month bring your greatest harvest believe me as I pray for you may this month bring your greatest harvest may somebody see you and just like you i say it again may destiny help us see you and like you no strings attached may someone see your family and like your family listen i believe in the ministry of help many of us don't like it without the help of god you will die like a chicken there are men who are anointed and sent to come and help you when david was in adulam some people came and helped him i pray for you again your helper may he show up this month may they show up this month helping you to get jobs helping you to connect for marriage helping your business helping your family last prayer point some of you are moving but you are not moving fast enough God prophesied to you that by December some things should have happened you agreed with God at the beginning of this year that by December some of you agree with your husbands and wives and said this is what we agree but it has not happened if you keep quiet that's how December will finish but I agree with you there are still a few months left you are even saying God should do it by the end of December but may he do it by the end of October October will not pass till you carry your testimony. I prophesy preservation upon you. No accident. No death. And in one minute, let's pray for Nigeria. Our time is gone. Prophesy in one minute. We are responsible citizens. We pray for this nation. Nigeria rise and fulfill your destiny Nigeria rise and recover all that was lost Nigeria rise in mighty victory Nigeria rise yes Nigeria rise Father we agree with you in the name of Jesus 
that you will step into this nation and change everything you founded this nation this is your nation step in and give miracles in the name of jesus hallelujah our time is gone but i cannot end this without giving an opportunity keep standing please no moving around please let's respect this very quickly in one minute there are people here you have seen what god has done and while you were standing watching all these miracles the lord began to speak to you and said am i not worth having a relationship with and you've been waiting for an altar call to come there are some of you you have a relationship with god but for some reason you have left god and derailed please our time is gone young and old especially for those of us who are outside you are saying man of god please lead me back to the cross i love jesus with all my heart and i want to start afresh wherever you are please i want you to run and come out right now i'm only going to count one to five don't wait for someone god bless you people are coming please clear the way for them one two please quickly our time is gone thank you so much for those of you who are out it's the beginning of a new season do not be ashamed of yourself there's nothing to be ashamed of it's like receiving an award lift up your right hand and say after me jesus i love you truly and with all my heart i declare right now please if you're joining them join them quickly and continue with this prayer jesus i believe in you i receive eternal life into my spirit and i declare that from today i'm a child of god holy spirit come and live in me make me a new person give me a testimony in the name of jesus i break the power of sin over your life i decree and declare that you are free from today i declare your sins forgiven i declare that in the name that is above all names you rise to a new dimension fresh hunger for the things of god in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah now please i want you to follow the ushers two of you gentlemen you didn't pray the ushers will lead you to pray that prayer now everyone please follow the lady waving her hands please make sure you follow her they are going to give you some details and then pray with these two gentlemen they didn't join us to pray so please let them pray it hallelujah god bless you dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny Alaska de Bashka na kata branda kete kato, kete branda kata bako tosko tobre kete kene kata. The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.